Welcome to our, our monthly market update. Uh, Kevin Shoemaker with the Trail Davis Group. Just really wanted to reach out to you and uh, go over some numbers, a lot of questions as far as uh, what direction is the market going, what's interest rates doing. And so really just want to jump in, take uh, five, six minutes just to give you a quick update and let you know uh, where things are at from, uh, from our perspective. So when we're looking at the uh, when we're looking at the real estate market currently, the one driving force is obviously values, but also the rent. We've had a lot of appreciation, and so we're seeing a, a, a drastic increase in uh, in the uh, in the market as far as the, uh, the uh, as far as the market rent. Next thing we're seeing is is housing supply. So year over year, just sort of showing you the national averages as far as what the what the national averages are doing. But what you can also see is, is we're starting to see that the inventory inventory is starting to catch up a little catch up a little bit with what the existing demand is. So breaking it down, uh, the Denver metro area, you can sort of see the the seasonality curves. Looking at uh, this is a three year glimpse of the seasonality curves in some of the major major counties in the, in the Denver metro area, but also breaking down. The sold listings. So when you look at the numbers of the sold listings, 2018 year to date, 30,258 homes have sold year to date compared to last year, uh, actually 9% decrease compared to last year, 32,972 listings. When we go into Boulder County, again showing you the sort of the seasonality curve of our inventory, and then uh, the Boulder County sold listings. So looking year to year, Boulder County uh, year to date, 3,562 homes have sold year to date this year. Uh, compared to last year, up a tick by half a percent to uh, 3,548 homes. Northern Colorado hitting uh, Weld and Larimer County. When you look at Weld, Weld County, 4,531 homes have sold yet this year. 18% increase from last year, same time frame of 3,702 homes. And then looking at Larimer County, 5,216 homes have sold uh, this year to date, actually up 10%. From last year, 4,708 homes selling year from January to through uh, end of September for 2017, um, which is uh, it demonstrates the again in this in this slide. So when you look at the unsold inventory, uh, it's when you look at days on market and and the absorption rates nationally, we're at 4.3 months supply at the current sales pace, up from 4.1 months a year ago. Um, while inventory continues to show modest year-over-year -year gains, it's still far from a healthy level, and new home construction is, is, a, is not keeping up to satisfy the demand. So when you look at, again, national averages of the starts, the completions, and the sales, we're starting, we've definitely seen a lot of new construction in some of the bigger markets uh, in the Denver metro area, a lot of condos being built, and then uh, some of the, the outskirting, outlying areas, we're seeing a lot of the national builders coming in, continuing to put up a lot of inventory. Fair amount of inventory in Well County, not much obviously in, in uh, Boulder County, and then also in Larimer County. Uh, the signs are pointing to a market that's shifting towards buyers, but in most places, we're still a long way, long way from a full reversal. So the million dollar question is, is when's the market going to take a shift? And so when you look at the home price expectation, expectation survey that was done uh, in third quarter of this year, 43% of the people believe that in 2020 is when we're going to see the shift where it's going to shift towards the buyer's market, which is pretty consistent with a lot of the professionals that we've talked to. But uh, in, in some of the general markets, uh, East Coast, West Coast are a little bit, little bit different than Midwest. You know, that, that 2020 seems to be the year that most people are targeting even, uh, even here locally. Home values, are they falling or are they softening? I uh, love this slide because it, it, it's, it's a great illustration and representation of of the market where we're at in, in the uh, in the pre bubble, and then when the market uh, when the market crashed, a lot of people uh, are asking, are we positioning ourselves for another bubble? The challenge is is that we don't have the inventory. When you look at all of the different markets, the reason we got in the situation we did in 06 through 08 is we had the big surplus of inventory, we had bad loans, and then we had a high default rate. So not saying we can't get there, but when you look at our inventory levels today, as long as we're able to maintain the inventory obviously with employment and everything else that's strong in Colorado in the front range, we'll continue to, uh, continue to have a, a healthy market. Uh, many of our areas have had anywhere from 12 to as much as uh, 18 and as much as 22% appreciation year over year. We believe that we're going to start to see that come down and I would anticipate somewhere between as little as five, but probably in that seven to 10% range. Average days on the market, when you look at uh, you know, coast to coast, um, in the Midwest and even in the West, uh, we're, we're in pretty good shape, under 30 days, average days on the market. So when we look at the average days on the market in the Denver metro area, we're running about in those 14 days or so average days on the market. 
when we look at total inventory on the market as far as absorption rates, we're looking somewhere between that two and a half to maybe three months of inventory currently uh, as far as absorption. Uh, when you get into Boulder County, again, about 15 days on the market, average 15 to 20. Um, and then we're starting to see uh, total inventory, you're about 2.8 months worth of inventory in the, in the Boulder market. And then in Northern Colorado, um, you're looking at uh, 2.7, 2.8 uh, months of inventory with average days on the market ranging, depending on Weldon Larimer, somewhere between that 10 to 12 uh, days on the market. Interest rates. The million dollar question, what's interest rates going to do? We've had a lot of clients this year specifically that intended on making a move in the next couple of years and have advanced that expect that timeline in it. And what they've done is, is with the volatility of the interest rates and all of the appreciation that we've had through the last couple of years, we've been able to maximize their equity position and they're wanting to jump on the bandwagon and get into that, whether it's retirement home or upgrading um, to that next level of home. And uh, as, their, as their families have expanded, um, they're, they're making that next move early, sooner than later, uh, to, to lock in those lower interest rates. So here's a snapshot from Freddie Mac, uh, Fannie Mae, NBA, and, and uh, National Association of Realtors. They're all pretty much saying in agreeing that we're going to have an up, a continued uptick. We've had about, probably we've appreciated, probably, or I'm sorry, the interest rates have increased probably about three quarters of a percent over the year. Um, we were pushing five. I believe we dropped back down a little bit. I think it's pretty consistent that we're going to continue to be in that 5% range as we approach uh, second quarter of next year. And then looking even further out, um, we uh, potentially will jump about another quarter to half a percent from there as we go into next year. So as always, we really appreciate and value our relationship with you. And uh, we want to be your, continue to be your real estate resource. So if there's anything we can do to ever assist you and your family, we really appreciate that our business is based on relationships, which is why we're here for you. Um, so feel free to reach out to us. This, uh, this was a value and you'd love to share this with uh, any of your friends and family. Feel free to share it on Facebook as well as uh, for the email on. And you can always reach us uh, at our office, 720-230-3030 or uh, the Look forward to talking to you next month.